Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, and it's Friday. You know what we're going to do at the end, right? So just prepare yourself now. Post-market wrap-up, um, April 5th, 2024. Okay, let's start off with this little crypto conversation that we got on here. It's pretty incredible here. Uh, Peter Schiff was right, saying that commodities were going to go higher and crypto was going to be plummeting. Uh, no. Uh, how about crypto has gone completely crazy? It's been taken off and we haven't in any way, shape or form seen the top. I've been calling crypto with all of you for years. We've nailed it to the wall. Even with all that, people still don't get it. This is just normal human behavior. You can lead a horse to water. You can't make him drink no matter what you do. And that's fine. Again, we need people on both sides of the equation. And also people are entitled to their own opinion on this. Uh, it's just, it's an incredible thing. So few people hold this stuff. Um, I mean, it, it just, if you consider the flow of cash through markets, not only are we going to have a commodity super cycle on an epic scale, but we are going to see things like cryptocurrencies go so absolutely parabolic. People are going to still deny what they see. It's always just, you know, look, it's not too hard for the propaganda ministry to convince people that what they see, what they see with their own eyes is not real because people don't believe it. Um, it's, it's quite an astonishing characteristic that human beings have. And, and then, you know, it's, it's, it's very unfortunate, but that, that's okay. Let it just be what it is. Uh, Peter Schiff has been right and wrong many times. Okay, no one can get 100% right. I like Peter. Great guy. No doubt about it. Got a nice personality, too. Um, his calls on commodities are spot on. With regard to cryptocurrency, dislikers like Jamie Dimon as well, 100% uh, wrong. And they're going to be 100% wrong for the foreseeable future. There's just no doubt at all. But again, that's just the way it's got to be. You got to have winners. You got to have losers. And that's that's life in the big city. Anyway, so with regard to, to that, let, let's talk a little bit. Hey, you want to see something neat? This is what's left of my alternator belt. That's all I was able to dig up <laughs> underneath the hood of my copo. I had some kind of crazy... Uh, Stuff happened last night at the drags. Oh, anyway, um, just let, let's let's start off with this market. So today we got um we got somewhat of a rebound off of yesterday's sell off that everyone's making such a big deal about. Is it why? Because they're not used to seeing it. We've had a market that's gone up, 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 twenty five, just about twenty five new record highs this year alone, and you still got the crowd calling for a crash every five minutes on this day at that minute and this hour, according to the Bible. You got to be kidding me, but that's what we are dealing with here, or according to whatever whatever other tea leaves they're reading here. Now, I will I will admit this action that we're seeing here in the debt market, you know, does raise your eyebrows a little bit. We got a ten year yield at four point four. We get a dollar today, um, you know, a little bit higher on a relative strength basis. The MMRI is is climbing here. Risk is climbing in this market absolutely freaking lootly. It's it's not going to last. I've been calling this repeatedly over and over again. Every time we've seen this, Carlos knows what I'm talking about. Helen knows what I'm talking about. Thank you, guys. Um, it, it, the Fed is going to buy it all. They're, that's what they're setting up for. Okay, All the back and forth nonsensical talk about what the Fed may or may not do all comes down to what they must do. The Fed, in order to keep its control, along with other central banks around the world, they have to inflate. It's their only power, and they're not going to give it up. They're going to make us all pay for it. I, you know, look, <laughs> let me just show you this real quick in case you don't know. This is today's headline up on Market Watch. Inflation may not fall for months. Meanwhile, this same publication, Army Mom, wow. Yes, absolutely. Remember, everyone deployed people. The same Market Watch has been telling everyone how inflation has been dropping. Oh, how does that work? You see, they think they think you have the the, the memory of like a, a gnat. Okay, no. One day they post that inflation is dropping. Now here they're telling you it's, it's going to continue rising. Make it up. This is the situation that we're in, people. You can't believe it. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of feedback off of that. It looks like 90% of you are not supporters of this. There are some that are, but about 90% that wrote to me, are, are against this. Uh, don't want to see this. Because again, where does this cash come from? NATO don't have it. We don't have it. It's got to be created out of nothing. Who's going to supply all that cash? The central banks. All wars, in case you need a little reminder, are banker 
wars. And this, in case you don't know, is massively inflationary as well. You can't have central banks printing all this cash out of nothing uh, and there not be a side effect. The side effect is currency devaluation. I mean, and, and the sucking the purchasing power out of it. And that's where we're going to enter into this. Look, with regard to a current uh, commodity super cycle, those of you that have been with me for any length of time, let's just talk about how far ahead of the curve we've been on this. We've been talking about this before anybody else. And that's a fact. Go back as far as you want to go. Right, John Miller? Milner? Miller <laughs> and Jeffrey. Everybody knows what I'm talking about here. I've been telling people you need exposure to commodities for I don't know how freaking long. It's too easy. It's too easy to understand where this is going to go. Absolutely. i got some other stuff I want to talk to you about anyway. But realizing that the environment we are in is, is the most twisted, fake, engineered in the history of the world, uh, a market that seems to be defying gravity only because of the promise of easy money here, distortions across the spectrum of asset classes with regard to their price action. You think this is going to stop anytime soon? Do, you know what I mean? Really? Uh, global debt. There's a whole paper on this somewhere. Where did I put this here? Oh, I don't know. Global debt, household debt, personal debt, every kind of debt you could dream about, nation debt. It's a skyrocket. Who's responsible for all this here? Uh, I think we all know central banks who are more than happy to continue to inflate. And we, you and me, are paying the price for it. Here in the end, it's not going to stop in any way, shape, or form. But again, just realizing the little scenario that I've outlined for all of you since time immemorial. Again, look, the debt market is a freaking time bomb on an epic scale. It keeps being fueled by central banks, by by $100 billion for war, expanding war, and everything else. Uh, we, we, we continue to you know write checks that we can't cover, and then we expect everything is going to be okay here by our loving, caring representatives. This thing is coming apart. And that's another thing. People write, oh, Greg has been saying that the thing is coming apart for years. Where is it? Duh. I've also been saying that it, the faster the global economy comes apart, the higher the markets are going to go. These people are imbeciles. They look at the titles, right? Can you know what I'm talking about? Thank you. And they, they think I'm talking about a market crash. Meanwhile, I've been a raging bull in this market for many, many years. I've been called Greg Perma Bullerino and everything you could think about. But I've kept every single one of you, every single one of you on the right side of this market. You're all making money. And if you've been in JEPI and JEPQ, you also have nice cash flow. You all got paid your dividend yesterday, didn't you? Yes, you did. Paid forward. Take a small percentage of that and donate it to a charity that you believe in. You understand? This stuff is free, this, this information here. You know what you would have to pay to, to go to some financial advisor and give you this kind of information? Right, Mike? He knows what I'm talking about. So be sure to pay it forward always, all right? You get it back tenfold, believe me. More than that. That's a fact. Anyway, this whole, uh, you know, today, almost devoid from the mainstream propaganda ministry talking about Eurozone factory and manufacturing falling through the floor. They can't let you know this. Eurozone inflation, higher. But, okay, but, oh, in the United States, let's talk about the propaganda ministry. All the same scripts they're getting here. Oh, job growth. Eye popping, it's zooming. That means our economy is strong. Oh, it says it right there. It's no, actually, here it says it right here. The economy is strong, so it must be true. People, the economy could not possibly be worse, not just here, but all over the world. And this is deliberate. This is what central banks have. This is their grand plan to bring us all to our knees and make us beg, beg for a new system. Really, that's what that's what they're doing here. And um, you see, you and me, I don't care what they do. We're on the right side of this, long the market, commodities. With regard to commodities, people, <laughs> let's put that together just real quick. Talking about it. You know, it's interesting. This kind of super cycle talk and boom talk, you got a lot of people kind of, you know, on the bandwagon now. You and I have been talking about this for how many freaking years? Debt market meltdown is going to occur. It's a time bomb, as I said, which is going to put enormous pressure on stock markets around the world. And you and I know that cash doesn't grow funny little. Let me show you what it doesn't do. Cash doesn't grow little wings and fly away. It doesn't fly into money heaven. No, it doesn't do that. 
It just moves from one reality into another. It's going to leave this distorted, twisted, hyper-freaking bubble in the debt market and in the stock market and just make its way into commodities. Does that sound familiar to you? Yes. Greg Manorino has been telling you this for over 10 years. 10. Okay. So you, all of you have been with me. And I was very proud to see that over 80% of you out here are betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, holding hard assets, gold and silver right here. Silver, my favorite asset of all time. You know that. But I'll tell you something. See this piece of Moldavite? I bought this years and years ago. It's gone up like five freaking thousand percent. That was a pretty good investment too. <laughs> pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff. So with regard to the commodity boom, now everyone's talking about commodity boom, super cycle, duh. Can I please get a series of duh? I mean, make this stuff. Yes, Greg. Even me, I'm yelling. I think you're right, but I can't tell anyone what's going on because I'm all wet and I'm I have liquid in my in my depends. You know what I'm talking about, people. It's just it's insane. So let's talk about a few other things here, lovely people. First of all, you all know that this is propaganda, right? It's all fake. It's all fake. The economy is coming apart. There's nothing going on here. But again, it's it's just as you and I said, we should expect at the end of last year, expanding war, record high stock market. We've had that too. The propaganda, the distractions, the deceptions. Oh, imagine my shock. Now, if you guys and girls recall, where did I put that? Ah, I pointed out one specific Wall Street bank from many, many, many months ago. Does this sound familiar to you, Bank of America? How about this headline for you? This bank is in trouble, I'm going to tell you right now. Of all the Wall Street institutions, this one is in trouble. And I've been telling you this again months and months ago before anybody else here. I'm not psychic. I just study the information. I look at the data. So uh, this the, this paper loss here, uh, th this isn't actually even scratched the surface. I'm going to tell you something else. All these institutions are in the same boat. The system is being consolidated. Uh, as we all know about another thing you and I have been talking about before anybody else, the regional bank issues. Ronix 446 knows what I'm talking about here. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Isn't that cool? And, and Jungle Jim died young. You know how Jungle Jim died? He died in a car wreck. I believe, You correct me if I'm wrong on this, I think it was 1970, oh man, 77. I think it was 1970, it was either 74 or 77. Jungle Jim and Jungle Pam, I know you guys and girls, especially guys out here, we're uh, she was a little hottie, huh? Anyway, people, let's uh, let's let's conclude this here. All right. Um, so with 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 the market, it's doing exactly what you would expect here. We need a pullback. We haven't even gotten one. Yesterday it got bought up. We do need to see the ten year yield drop. It's going to risk in this market. Again, look, this is a presidential selection cycle. There's going to be no election. It's a selection. They're going to put who they want in there, and and you know how this works. Okay, it's uh. Whoever gets that job, in my view, is going to be the biggest traitor, uh, like a Benedict Arnold on the face of the earth here. All they're going to do is they're already setting it up. They are setting this up here with Wall Street to prop it up, uh, to make sure more easy money gets pumped into the system. Everything is against you and I. This entire system is rigged against you and I. When is the next buying opportunity? How about right freaking now? And it's a, and it pretty much that it grows goes across uh, the spectrum of asset classes. This is a question. We're going to cover that in just a second. But anyway, um, look, uh, what else do you guys and girls want to know? I mean, uh, this, is, this is no surprise. Anybody who follows this blog, commodity, super cycle, commodity, boom, duh, 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 duh. I mean, these people are so far behind the curve. It's unbelievable. I can't even stand it. When I hear this stuff, it, it just makes me laugh. Because you and I have been on the cutting edge of this. And we're going to continue to be on the cutting edge of this as far as the eye can see and then beyond. Because I've made that promise to all of you from a long time ago. Nothing is going to get by me. Nothing. That means nothing is going to get by you. And you can count on that. You can take that to the bank as you're becoming your own central bank. All right, people, let's talk about this. All right, let's talk about some questions here. Mining stocks. I do not own any mining stocks. I've covered this a million times. I am not the guy to talk about with regard to, if I have a choice between holding the hard assets or owning a mining stock, it's a no-brainer to Greg Manorino. I am holding the hard asset. Um, I don't, 
I, I just, that, I don't even think about it. It's, it's that simple to me. Um, as you all know, I have a substantial investment in, in this stuff. I don't sell this stuff. Um, and you know the reasons why, because I don't want people to say, oh, look, Greg has a vested interest in this. I told you I have people who want to put my lovely face. Imagine me on here, you know, and become your own. It sounds great. You know, it would look good, but I don't want to be, so I don't want to endorse anything. Okay. Because I don't want people to say Greg has a vested interest in this. I, I just want to be real. I tell you how I feel about things and I'm, I'm very candid about it. All right. And some people can't handle my style and that's okay. Um, I'm a very direct guy. I'm a very passionate guy. And some people don't, don't like that too much, but that's all right. That's okay. You know, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little out there. No one said I was normal. And I think normal is overrated. I think most of you would uh, <laughs> would have to agree with that. Uh, oh, anyway, people, um, is there anything else specific you guys and girls want to want to cover? Uh, yeah, Pam was his girl. Yeah, she's still around. As a matter of fact, I would say the Gator Nationals uh, just recently, and and uh, Jungle Pam was there. Still a good looking lady for her age, honestly. XRM two hundred two four XMR two hundred two and four. I guess I'm dyslexic today. Coco, Coco's floating around. Evil Knievel. Wasn't that guy? He was he was he was something else, man. You want to see his, this is my evil Knievel little little doll here. I was playing with this around my house. Would you believe that? Can you imagine me doing this thing? I get the little little crank thing. It's the coolest little thing. I mean, I, I was obsessed with this when I was a little kid. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, guys and girls, look, um, what I believe we're gonna do right now is we're gonna call it. All right. Now we're going to put this week behind us. Um, we're not changing anything. Okay. You and I have been on the right pathway with this. We've been doing exactly what we should be doing here across the board. We're not going to stop. We're not going to change. Okay. We're just going to remain ahead of the curve. As I promised you, we're going to stay on top of this. We're going to raise our awareness as we all have to do. Now, the last thing we're going to do and you know what we're going to do because it's Friday, right? You're not going to see me till Sunday for my markets to look ahead. But for now, bring it in. Nobody's looking in. If they are, tell them to join us. Are you ready? Love each other. Care about each other. And be charitable. People, this guy here loves you from the heart. I mean that. I got all of your backs. Whether you like me or you don't, I got you covered. All right? And um, and the proof is just where it is. I mean, honestly, I think uh, I'm not right all the time. That's a fact. Right, the accountant? Thank you. But uh, for the most part, I think I think we got this. Uh, it's hard to argue that. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you Sunday, okay?